Welcome back to Eyes Open, the show where we delve into and recreate the eyes of the movie monsters and creatures we all know and love. My name is Mark, and today we're looking at the eyes from 1997's Anaconda. Since last week's episode, we were looking at the eyes from a big-ass crocodile in Lake Placid. We figured we should keep diving into the water and focus on eyes from a big-ass snake. This giant anaconda is a creepy-ass snake, and I'd want to stay out of the water. Even though our lead characters just can't seem to stop falling in the water, with every chance they get. I mean, seriously. And the anaconda is just like, hey, what was that? But even above water, the anaconda can track you down and swoop you up. So if this were me, I'd be shitting my pants right now. With Lake Placid, I felt the CGI still held up with the crocodile, for the most part. For anaconda CGI, uh, well, yeah. Oh, brother. But we're not here to discuss computer-generated snake effects from 22 years ago. We're looking at eyeballs, and look at them eyes on that anaconda. Shit, dude, that'll give you nightmares. So for these eyes, we'll be recreating again with a 60 millimeter. So let's get our eyes open on anaconda. With Anaconda, a documentary film crew are traveling through the Amazon jungle to film a mysterious Indian tribe and shoot a documentary. Along the way, they pick up this stranded man played by John Voight, and it's revealed his plan is to capture a giant anaconda. Once the leader Kale is bitten by a tropical insect, John Voight's character Saran takes over the boat and leads us to some all-out snaky business. This crew is comprised of Eric Stoltz, Owen Wilson, Jennifer Lopez, and Ice Cube? Yeah, well, today's a good day. Is that right? So if you couldn't already guess this was a 90s movie, yeah, 1997 all up in your face. For a lot of the scenes, we do have an animatronic snake that was built for the film and looks great, and its movements are very realistic. And the inside shot of the anaconda is still pretty crazy in my opinion. Those CGI shots that we do get glimpses of apparently were upwards of $100,000 per second of screen time. But with the worldwide box office taking in over $136 million, I guess things turned out all right. Now let's go check out those eyes and see how they turned out. So, it's out there, isn't it? Yeah. And you know how to catch these things, right? That's right. Snakes don't eat people. Oh, they don't? Is snakes out there this big? Anacondas are a perfect kill for you. They strike, wrap around you, hold you tighter than your true love, and you get the privilege of hearing your bones break before the power of the embrace causes your veins to explode. You know, let's film Sarone capturing a big snake. Imagine capturing something like this on film for the first time ever. Have you lost your mind? Have I lost my mind? No, I haven't lost my mind. If anything, I'm completely lucid right now. I think it's you guys who need to open up your eyes. And there you go. Eyeballs from Anaconda. After this film's success in 1997, bringing in that $136 million, we got Lake Placid and Deep Blue Sea following up in 1999. So audiences were getting their fix on giant snakes, crocodiles, and shacks. But for 1997's Anaconda, let's just not forget. 
them eyeballs. And just a reminder that this weekend, Son of Monster Palooza is running from Friday the 13th through Sunday, September 15th here in Burbank, California. Four Seal Studios will be there all weekend with eye mold kits and plenty of the eyes that we've created here on Eyes Open. So if you're in the Burbank area and interested, go check out monsterpalooza.com. So be on the lookout next week and, you know, keep your eyes open. <laughs>